We've just completed the individual medals and the PSI FEI European Jumping Championships. Steve, right to the wire again. What a competition. Well, it always is wonderful when the last man has to jump a clear round to win. So we had that benefit today, but I mean, uh, that, that was only part of it. The, the, the rest of it was absolutely brilliant from start to finish. And it just built and built all the way through. Roger E. Boss for France, a wonderfully popular rider on the circuit. That was a super result. Tell us about his round. Well, it was a good round um, by normal standards, but when you consider how much pressure he was under, you know, to go in there, and he's got to jump that last combination, that difficult line to it, the last combination that took out half the class. You know, and a European Championship gold medal was resting on that. Kept his cool all the way. I mean, he nearly fell off over the last fence. He was that delighted, and good for him, you know, because he, he earned it. He deserved that. Ben watches and waits. Three fences from the gold, or does he give it to Ben Mayer? He's made it! What a round for the Frenchman! What a competition! It's gold for France, silver for Britain, and bronze for Britain. What a competition! And what a round under the most extreme pressure from this hugely popular Frenchman, Roger E. Post. I'm surprised to him. Every day I have a, my, a very big pleasure to ride and she's very nice and I'm lucky to have this horse. And they were tough courses out there today. The first day is very, the first course is very difficult, technical, not crazy big, but very technical. And now I know the mayor a little more and I can make uh, I have more games. I can make one more, one less. She's so careful and she has not, not make one fault. Huh? She's very and good. and your, the pressure was on you on that last round? I know I, do, I can just uh, only make the clear. And, and the last line I uh, heard the, the public and I said, oh, quiet, quiet, Marty. And she's very good. She tried the maximum. You are the European champion. Oh, incroyable. Belle. <laughs> I don't realize for the moment, but it's in after with my family, no, my owner. I'm very lucky today. <laughs> ben, you couldn't do any more than that clear round? No, um, double clear today would have meant that no one could catch me, and uh, I knew that fence in the first round today was going to be expensive, but she jumped great. I was concerned all week that she might tire towards the end. It's her first championships, and uh, she gave everything to me there at the end, and uh, I can't be unhappy with two medals this week. And she's a young horse as well. She's young, she's talented, uh, she's very fit, and um, yeah, so I'm just so thankful to Jane Clark for uh, having me as her rider. Two medals, not bad. Not bad at all, it was almost a, a clean sweep this week, and um, she just jumped too high at that Oxer earlier, it was an unfortunate mistake, um, but she, she certainly made up for it in that round there for me today. Scott, you jumped the double clear, but it just wasn't enough. Yeah, well, yeah. I. To be honest, I was I was glad I got a medal. I thought the fence the the, the previous days I thought that uh, that was going to kill me in the end. So now nah, listen, my horse has jumped unbelievable, so I can't complain, and it's great to get a medal. And, and two medals. Yeah, yeah. If you were to say beforehand I was going to come home with two medals, I would, I would take that. Although it didn't affect the medals in the end, in both the rounds this afternoon, the clock played a part, didn't I? What's the story behind that? It play, played a big part. It was a little bit controversial, if anything, really, because a lot of people were a bit annoyed that they'd changed the time, took five seconds off the time in the first round. Uh, from our point of view, I don't think it made an awful lot of difference um, because it made for a good competition. We'd have that with, with or without the clock, but it was a different type of competition when they had to go that fast and jump a, a horrifically difficult line to, to finish off in the first round. Not, and a very difficult line again in the last round. Now, Great Britain, who until a year ago in London had really had nearly a quarter of a century in the doldrums, yeah. they've really stamped their form here this weekend, haven't they? Well, it's just amazing, really. I mean, ever since I've been commentating, which has been an awful long time now, they've had sporadic success, but never the amount of success of the last 12 months. Olympic champions and European champions in the same year. What? You know... <laughs> You don't get better than that. <laughs> and with Michael Whitaker still on the teams. Yes, exactly. And what about, you know, uh, the World Championships next year? Yeah. The, that's, get the treble up. Absolutely. <laughs> well, 
what a week. I know that we've still got a bit of dress to come. We'll talk about that in a minute. But here in Harding, it's been a great success for them, hasn't it? I think, considering it's the first go in this establishment, wonderful to have three disciplines like this and to put a, together a championship, show jumping championship mm. like that, right at the very, out of the very top drawer. Unbelievable. Great. Well, that concludes the jumping here in Harning. But tomorrow, live on FEI TV at 13.30, we've got the individual freestyle dressage competition. So join us then for the last day of the dressage here, 13.30, live FEI TV.